in order to keep people away from Srila Srila Maharaj, gossips were distributed. He was even called a Sahajya and an impersonalist as well. Well, these are things carelessly done. It went that bad that in some places his books were found and burnt and stepped upon. When he heard that in one temple the Jaiva Dharma of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur was found and burnt and stepped upon, Srila Srinamaj was so sad. He said, how can they do this? This ruins your spiritual life. As a matter of fact, the person who did that didn't stay in this Krishna consciousness afterwards. So, this is very serious things. We should be very careful what we do. Vaishnava Aparat can destroy everything. <coughs> so sometimes Srila Srinamaj explained, just like Srila Prabhupada did in many places, that the soul is a fragment the jiva, the tatashta shakti, is a fragment of Lord Krishna's universal energy. And this became a controversy based on some quotes they found from Srila Prabhupada or the description of going home back to Godhead. But actually, <coughs> in the Gaudiya Sampradaya, the conclusion of the Acharyas is that it's not an important question. When you slip and you fall in the water, you should be preoccupied to get out of the water and go back uh, into the safe condition. So in that sense, we are now in the material world and we want to get out of here, want to get to the spiritual world. So how we exactly got here is not chronologically described anywhere. But the idea is given that we are coming from this Tatashta Shakti and now we are invited by the grace of Sri Hari to go into the world of Goloka Vindavan, the eternal loving relationship. But because he explained that to some devotees, then he was, then he was uh, uh, pointed at, oh, he's an impersonalist, he's teaching things different than Prabhupada. <coughs> well, that's import impossible because Srila Prabhupada said to Hansa Dutta, everything I learned, I learned from Sridhar Maharaj. So it's uh, quite impossible that Srila Prabhupada would teach something different from him. So, but you see there, every Acharya has his own way of doing things, their own style, and uh, some play this instrument, some play another instrument, some, uh, like we are singing the songs in, in Spanish, in, in German, in Hungarian, <coughs> in Swedish, and we feel very joyful doing that. And I got the backing and the approval of Srila Sridhar March and Srila Puri March in this regard, because in India, in every region, they sing the bhajans in their local language as well. But some people, they are so narrow-minded, they said, no, you're deviating, you're not understanding, you're not faithful because you're doing something what at Prabhupada's time was not done. Well, there was no translation of the prayers of those days. All these things had not been done. So things change over the years and the Acharya has a duty and the right to adjust time, place and circumstances according what is now to be done. And if he cannot do that, how can he, how can he protect others if he has no authority? So in this sense, uh, Srila Maharaj was accused with such silly things <coughs> simply to keep people away from him. At some point, I mean, I, it was a hard time even for me to go there because that time there was an official rule, whoever crosses over the river and goes to the ashram of Srila Srinamaj, he cannot come back. He is ousted from his car. Uh, and in this way, uh, things were handled very, very uh, immaturely. Well, what can you expect? Immature people do things immaturely. And uh, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, if you expect a fool not to act foolishly, you are a fool. So in that sense, what can we do? If you're still in the, if you have the wrong understanding, you have to do something wrong. And maybe that's Krishna's arrangement, so we all can find out more. And you see, <coughs> as a matter of fact, that's my personal interpretation that uh, that the institution as such is not what the world needs and which can help so much. As a matter of fact, people in this world are very wary of institutions. But uh, 
the personal performance, the personal purity, the personal uh, uh, execution of divine service like Prabhupada did, <coughs> that creates a level of love and trust, enthusiasm, that creates such a, such a wonderful uh, foundation for getting together and doing things in a way that uh, the world will really be benefited. And Srila Srila Maharaj, he risked himself for us. He gave his shelter and his kindness and he spoke the truth. And he said, I am not under any commission and I am not under anybody's restrictions. I am only under my Guru Dev's orders and the truth. And of course, that was not what uh, the formal institution wanted to hear. Because actually, this is the right of each and every one of the disciples to act according to their full conviction and the blessings of their spiritual master. Otherwise, the spiritual growth of the Sampradaya would be seriously hampered. There would be no Brahmins, <clears throat> just clerks. Clerks with an agenda of necessities. Just like um, you could say so in ISKCON, sannyas has become an institutional privilege. It's very difficult to to uh, get sannyas because then you are like a person who are being handed around everything, all facilities are given to you, regardless of what your performance is kind of. Of course, I'm exaggerating a little bit. It's very difficult. And there's been no sannyasis practically <coughs> in 30 years in South America, Central America, Mexico. It has been, has been a fiasco. But a great m amount of spiritual leaders are necessary. So uh, when, when the institutional leadership becomes kind, kind of positions, you know, and uh, people are not free to think and free to talk and people have no real istagosties and they have no right to remove a leader who is not up to the mark, then it becomes an institution full of clerks and no, no wonder the world is not interested to such a thing. And because this danger is there in any big institution, therefore Krishna just made the arrangements that everything will be shifted <coughs> to those <coughs> who are actually interested in the essence and who are going on now, which doesn't mean that somebody who is there in Prabhupada's mission uh, is not trying to, to fight for the essence. But anyhow, uh, time will show. Time will show because as everything in life, always time will show. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare.